using self-service to install apps and iCloud Drive and backup. Or why are there no apps on my iPad? There's some new things this year that we'll be using to set up your initial iPads. First of all, you will have to have your Apple ID and password. Step one will walk you through signing into iTunes and the App Store in order to get the apps using self-service. Step two will sign into iCloud and set iCloud backup. Step three will set up iCloud Drive. Step one, open the settings, go to iTunes App Store, log in with your Apple ID and password. Make sure that automatic downloads for updates is turned on, which means it's green and showing. You'll see that an app is installing or updating when it has this clock interface on it. If you get a message about um, verification, where uh, before you can make purchases, you must tap OK to verify, just press Cancel. You will not be actually purchasing any apps. Find the self-service app on your iPad. It looks like that green, blue, red dice almost. You're going to log in with your DA username and password. When you first see the self-service main library, you can press on the See All, here highlighted in red. That will show you all of the apps in the particular categories. You should install all required apps on day one, so you have them for the day two setup activities. Some information about self-service. Once you've started the installation process, the apps will continue to be installed while you have a Wi-Fi connection. Installing all required apps may take all day. Once you are able to take your iPads home, you can install the other apps as needed that are either optional or required for certain classes. You do not need to download all apps. Instead, just download and install the required apps and the apps your teachers want you to have for their class. Step two, go back in to settings, iCloud and iCloud Drive iCloud Drive is new this year and since we have new iPads running iOS 8 and the desktop computers in the labs running Yosemite, you can take advantage of iCloud Drive. You'll log into iCloud with the same Apple ID you use for iTunes in the App Store in Step 1. You'll need to agree to the terms of service. Simply press Agree a couple times. Press OK for location for Find My iPad. That's really needed in case you were to lose your iPad. Number two, if you get um, a request to merge data with iCloud, you can choose um, to not merge it. Um, merge it only if you have no other choice. In iCloud settings, you should turn these off. Turn off Mail, Contacts, Calendar. Those are all handled by Exchange, so you don't need them being backed up to iCloud. Safari and Keychain. Uh, Safari backs up your open tabs and bookmarks. You could do this, but for now we suggest that you not do it. Keychain backups, um, your passwords and other private information. In order to do that, you have to set up an iCloud security code, much like your passcode, and uh, have an iCloud email address. We suggest that you not turn that on. If you're asked, you can choose to delete these items from your iPad when you're turning them off. Turn these settings on. iCloud Drive, Photos, Reminders, Notes, Backup, Find My iPad. iCloud Drive is for Yosemite Desktop and iOS Syncing. We suggest that you turn it on. Backup automatically backs up photos, documents, configuration, and settings when plugged in, locked, and connected to Wi-Fi. This is critical. This is the only way that your iPad is backed up. Find My iPad allows you to locate, lock, or erase your iPad if lost by logging in at iCloud.com. Very useful. Step 3. iCloud Drive Setup. 
with iCloud Drive, you can use Pages and Keynote on your iPad and any other iOS 8 device or Macintosh computer using Yosemite. These documents in iCloud Drive will be kept up to date, something that Apple calls continuity. Good grammar word. We recommend that you use Google Apps or Evernote, but if you use Pages and Keynote, this will help make sure you do not lose files. So in settings, you'll go to iCloud, make sure iCloud is turned on. You may see a list of apps that are able to use iCloud Drive. Most all should be turned off so you have enough storage space in your iCloud Drive. There is no reason to be backing, for instance, Google Drive up to iCloud Drive. That's one cloud system backing up to another cloud system, which doesn't make much sense to me. You're going to manage your storage in iCloud by pressing on storage, which should be located just above iCloud Drive. Once you are in storage, press on manage storage and make sure backups, pages, keynote are all that are being stored there. There may be other apps that are trying to store information there, but these are the three things that have to be there. If you have no backup, as shown in the image, it's because you haven't done a backup yet. The backups will show later once you run your first backup. You want to make sure you manage this so you do not run out of the space. You have a total of five gigabytes. iCloud Backup, turn it on. If this is not turned on, go into Settings, iCloud and Backup, and make sure that um, the green button is showing so that it is backing up. It will automatically back up when it's at home. If it's plugged in and charging, which you should do at night, connected to Wi-Fi, and in a locked screen mode. You can always check to see if it's backing up by going into um, iCloud Backup and see where it will say Last Backup. In this case, this image shows never because it's never been backed up. You can access iCloud Drive online by going to iCloud.com slash pound iCloud Drive. 